Hello, myself Fazana and welcome to the world of NLP. And yes, today's session is about natural language processing. Why NLP is so important? And nowadays we often hear NLP everywhere. Do you know the reason why? So to understand that, we start with a simple example. Have you ever noticed the messenger is suggesting some meaningful words when we started texting? And uh, most of our mails are categorized into ham or spam. Do you know what is the reason behind and what are the activities involved? So now let's start the session and understand it later. NLP is a technology used to aid computers to understand the human natural language. Of course, it's not an easy task to teach machines to understand how we communicate. In real time, we have a dedicated team to train the system. What is NLP? It's an interaction between computer and human using natural language. The main objective of NLP is to read, understand and make sense of the human languages in a manner that is valuable. What is NLP used for? So here we listed out some of the application, uh, text classification, spam filters, voice text messaging, sentiment analysis, spell or grammar check, chatbot, search suggestion, search autocorrection, automatic review analysis system, language translation which is the most popular in Google Translator and NLU which is nothing but the natural language understanding and natural language generator. The core component of NLP is extracting all the information from a block of text that is relevant to computer understanding later. So, make sure that it's not our language, it is the computer understanding language. So, what are the main libraries used? SKLearn, SPACE, and NLTK. SPACE is a free open source library for advanced NLP in Python. And in this session and in the upcoming session, we are going to see SKLearn, SPACE. The reason is very simple. SPACE has more advantage when compared to NLTK. What is the use of these libraries? Tokenization, part of speech tagging, early deduction, dependency parsing, noun phrases, words to vector integration, and content and derivation, and much more. Let's see some of the data cleaning techniques used. Case normalization, removing stop words, removing punctuations or special symbols, limitation or stemming, Point note here, we have to use one technique or one method from this not together at the time. Part of speech tagging, entity deduction, bag of words which is a simple word embedded technique and in our today's session we are going to discuss in detail so stay tuned. Word to vector and the main techniques used in NLP are syntactic analysis and semantic analysis. So today is our initial session in NLP. So let's start with the base and in the upcoming session, we go in with the detailed one. So now it's time to discuss about bag of words. As we are aware, ML algorithms cannot work with raw data directly. We need to convert the text into vectors of numbers, which is the feature extraction. The bag of words model is a popular and simple feature extraction technique used when we work with text. It describes the occurrence of each word within the document. Bag of words used with the technique TF-IDF, which is a term frequency and it helps to find how many times the word occurred in the document and IDF is the inverse document frequency. So let us discuss with this simple example. Suppose we want to vectorize the following document. So, main two steps to consider is determine the vocabulary and then count the word. So, here we have three documents, the cat chat, the cat chat in the hat, the cat with the hat. So, here we displayed with the simple pass matrix. So, here we found there are six features. So, which is nothing but the unique keyword from the above document. So, in the first document, the cat sat. So here, word the is repeated once. Cat sat also repeated once. And the word in, had and with are not found in this document. And in the second document, 
word the is repeated twice see first one is here and the second one is here so the count is two and cat sat in and hat are repeated once in the sentence and uh, with is not available in this sentence and the final document uh, word the is repeated twice cat is repeated once sat in are repeated not repeated and it's not available in this document and hat and with are repeated repeated once okay so this example which is a very simple but in real time the the data will be too large okay so when you are using this automatically the performance or else the space will be more so how we are going to handle that uh, so we will discuss uh, in the session so now it's time to make our hands dirty so come let's start programming so to begin with we have to import uh, the basic libraries such as numpy pandas and matplotlib i am now reading the file using pd.read underscore csv for the folder for the file spam which is a tsv so i am using the separator as slash underscore t spam is the spam i just downloaded from the website kaggle so now i am displaying the initial initial rows by passing the syntax df dot head so our next step is to find whether any null values available in the data set by passing the command is null so luckily there are no null values in a data set next step is finding the samples passing the syntax len of df so we have a total of 5567 five, sample records which is nothing but the rows so the data is quite good to build the model now we will find how many spam or ham messages are available okay by using the keyword value underscore counts so we found that total of 4821 for ham and 746 for spam so which is clearly a highly screwed and unbalanced data so now next step is balancing the data why we want to balance the data the answer is very simple to get good accuracy but the techniques to handle the balancing the data is not easy as highlighted in the single line so but now our aim is bag of four so let's stick into that here i'm reading the label with ham as well as i'm reading the data with spam so now we found that there are total of 4821 records for ham and 746 for the spam so now our next aim is to equalize the data so here we are taking the random data of ham with the shape of spam so by passing this syntax and now the data is 746 for ham so our ultimate goal is achieved so now ham and spam are in same shape so now we have to combine the data by passing the command append so here when i'm displaying the certain set of row it is highlighted with ham because it is ordered in such a sequence because we are using the keyword uh, append so if you want to if you highlight it with the tail it will display with this spam. so you can try it out so our next activity is data preparation so to do that i have to we have to split the data into train and test for that we are importing train test split and then the model used are random forest classifier and an SVM and the metrics used here are accuracy score, confusion matrix and classification report and here we are using the pipeline method. So the library used here is TFID vectorizer for TFID. So now our next goal is to train and split the data. Here our x data is message and y data is label. So I am passing this compound with train underscore test underscore split. Passing the x value as message and y value as label. And test size is 0.3 which is like 70 to 30 ratio which is like a train and test data. And the random state is 1 to 3. What is that? When I am executing this uh, 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 this notebook from my end or from my laptop uh, 
the sample data will be the same so that uh, the accuracy also will be calculated accordingly and when you are executing from your end the sample also will be the same so there won't be any change in the data and uh, the value can be anything like 1 1 to 3 1 to 3 4 or even your lucky numbers so now next is i'm passing x underscore train and here it is displaying some certain set of messages and y underscore train which is calculating for the line number nine to for this message it is highlighted as spam so now let's start uh, exploring more in bag of words here i am passing tmid vectorizer to the variable vec and the x underscore train with i am passing with big underscore fit underscore transform of x underscore train so now we found that there are total of uh, 1044 and 3789 what it is so 1044 which is a row nothing but a message and 3789 is a column which is a unique word what do you mean by unique word so let now go back again to our earlier example here with this document we found that there are total of six unique big keyword so the same way for our for our spam content okay we have a total of uh, 3789 unique words so hope now it's clear so now i'm passing x underscore train so which is like 1400 and 3789 and which is with the uh, sparse metric in the format of compressed format okay if the file is really not compressed what will happen we have a total of 1044 into 3740 which is almost like 40 lakhs so the size is really huge okay so to improve that so this is the main advantage of using the tfid vectorizer so now let's start building the model using pipeline why am what is the use of pipeline so pipeline is a set of sequence of process which will execute one after another see suppose there are many repetitive activities like same set of activities to be done in the train as well as the same set of activities to be done in the testing part so one don't want to do it why you want to do it in manual so let's make it automate okay so that is the reason for reason behind the pipeline so now our first model is random forest classifier so here we are passing with a certain set of parameters and uh, we predicted the value and our confusion matrix and finally displays with uh, this what it means here uh, so which means that uh, two messages was predicted as spam instead of ham and two not two ham messages was calculated correctly so now let's calculate our f1 score wow good which is like almost like 95 percentage and finally our accuracy score is also 95 percentage wow it's really a good score right so now let's go let's predict some of the messages whether it uh, so let's type some of the messages and uh, uh, calculate whether it's falling under the ham or spam okay so our first messages is hi fazana here so good it's hit with the ham and the next sentence with congratulations you have won three tickets hooray so it identified as spam so now your activity is add or remove word and check how it is classifying the messages as ham or spam so here you will identify what is the exact keyword it is highlighting with a ham or spam which will be really useful in the upcoming session so please make your hands dirty by doing a hands-on so let's start building with the svm so here the main point to note is i'm passing with the c is equal to 2000 and gamma is equal to auto so now your activity is change the value of c and check how it really impacts the accuracy level so now the same steps are repeated which we followed in the random forest classifier and predicted and here are confusion matrix with 2, 1, 6 and 8 and 1, 6 and 2, not 8 and our F1 score is also wow it's like 95 percentage and our accuracy model is almost like 94 percentage for this respective model. So this is what for today's session. So if you find this content is useful Please do like, share, subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell button.